it was the largest loss of firefighters since 9-11. So I think the film is important as an act of remembrance. Um, and uh, also, you know, it's really something to hear stories of real heroes, you know? I mean, that's inspiring, I think, to hear those kinds of stories and to hear, you know, real heroes, you know, actual <laughs> flesh and blood people who have, um, you know, who do these extraordinary things. I play Amanda Marsh, and she, at the time of this story, was married to uh, Eric Marsh, who was the superintendent of the Hotshot crew. Um, and uh, I was fortunate enough to spend time with Amanda. She was very um, generous with me, with her time, and um, sharing stories and details of their lives together. To be on a hotshot crew demands incredible um, endurance, physically and emotionally, I think. Um, they have to, they work, you know, they do everything that uh, firefighters do and they do it out in the wilderness. They do it on the sides of mountains and deep in canyons and um, often before they get to fight the fire, they have to hike for miles and miles um, on their own. They work for weeks at a time. Um, sometimes, you know, camping out, um, working 12-hour days. You know, they work very long hours, and it's very, it's very grueling work over long periods, extended periods of time. I think it's a tribute to them, and it's it's a celebration of what they did, and um, I think it also, yeah, it. We were talking before about the context of, of their lives. I think seeing them as, it's kind of amazing to see people who, oh yeah, they, they have families. These are kind of normal guys who, um, you know, go through things that we all go through and um, all the kinds of struggles that we all face. Um, but then they go out there and they do that, you know? Um, and someone like Eric went out and did that kind of stuff for 23 years. That's extraordinary. He's very smart, he's funny. I think he's, you know, brave, makes brave choices as a filmmaker. Um, yeah, I loved it. I loved working on it, we had a great time.